Hello everyone, I hope you're having a lot of fun playing with the new characters. I for one am loving the new music. I think these stages have like the best music in the game so far. So I'm using them for all my practice mode. Anyway, I want to talk to you about Negan and his intimidation stands mix up in this video because I think it's probably something that you're running into a whole lot online. This is Negan's mix up stands and it might look very powerful at first glance, but there are some easy tricks I can teach you to make this matchup a whole lot easier for you so let's talk about the stance itself first it looks like this anytime Negan has Lucille on his shoulder that means that he's in this stance but you're probably not going to see the manual transition all that much. Typically he will go into this off of a move and then he'll just do another move right away. Uh, the two main transitions that you're going to see are the down back two where he smashes your toe. Uh, people are loving this online right now because while it's, it's fun to do it uh, feels really good, sounds really good, so to speak, and then he walks into the stance after a massive amount of a stun like that and he can mix up from uh, the stance. And then the other one which is even more important to know about in my opinion is down forward 4-2 uh, hold, which also goes into the stance. Now the reason I say this one is even more uh, important is that um, if he does this stance or this move to you and you block it and then he uh, spams out a 1-2 like that, that is uninterruptible by jabs and so uh, you might see a string like this uh, block it think it's your turn to swing and then you're just gonna get interrupted by that powerful 35 uh, mid mid and you're gonna get wall splat and all the rest of it so you need to uh, have a look at the string remember what it looks like and remember not to swing into Negan uh, when he's doing this even if it's on block uh, this, is, this is natural by the way so he can use it for a quick uh, punish and then he can access the stance this move is launch punishable by the way so uh, if you do manage to predict uh, or react to and block it then uh, make sure you uh, make him eat a launcher uh, for using it and then for the actual mix-up that you're going to see out of the stance, he has a bunch of really powerful mids. He has a launcher, he has this uh, knockdown move which gives him 43 guaranteed on the floor. Uh, and really the most important and common one that you're going to see is the 1-2, which is this very fast uh, mid-mid knockdown string. Now the unique thing about the stance when they designed it, they didn't give him any lows to mix his mids up with, uh, which might make the might make the stance seem really bad for mix-ups. But what they did instead is they gave him an unbreakable throw out of the stance, which is very unique. Because the throw is unbreakable, the only way of dealing with it is to duck it, and so it functions the exact same way as a low would for purposes of mixing out of the stance. So, the way you're going to practice dealing with the stance to make it a lot easier. Well, let's uh, first tell you that the reason that it works is if you listen to the throw. You can tell that there's a little grunt that he does before it comes out. And that's going to come out every time. Um, and human beings typically react to sound a little bit faster than we do to things that we see with our eyes. So if you're going to practice uh, this way, I recommend that you turn on in-game sound if you don't have it on already. But it is de definitely slow enough that you can still react visually to this, so you don't have to listen for the sound. But that is the easiest way of doing it, in my opinion. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go into the options and set your opponent to record and then you're going to record two things like I've done here. Uh, any kind of stance transition I've used down back two. So you're going to do down back two and then you're going to spam out the one two as fast as possible and then you're going to record the other option and you're going to spam out the throw instead. And then you're going to set it like this in the options to 50-50 so that the opponent will do one option 50% of the time and the other option 50% of the time. And then all you're going to do is press play and then you're going to listen for that grunting sound effect. If you hear it, then you're going to duck every time. If you don't hear it, then you're just going to stand block. Um, and if you do this, it's going to allow you uh, an easy way of dealing with the stance most of the time with no trouble, provided that you have the reaction speed to keep up, and that's where you need to practice. So I'm just going to press play here, and let's see what happens. Didn't hear it that time, so I just blocked, right? And that time I heard it, so I ducked. And that time I heard it, so I ducked again. 
and that time I didn't hear it so I just uh, remained standing and blocked as normal. So you can see that it's not that difficult to do if you just put in a little bit of practice and if you practice this for a while it's going to seep into your muscle memory far enough that it's uh, going to be uh, possible to do quite easily in an actual match when you're playing against Negan which is of course where it becomes very important. So that's just a quick tip for how to deal with this stance which I'm assuming that you're running into a whole lot online right now. Obviously this slow is going to be loved by people who are you know new to the character and realize that you can get all this powerful stuff by just connecting with it they're probably using it for all oak and all kinds of stuff so that's all I wanted to teach you in, in this video. Uh, as for how to deal with Julius mix-ups, uh, you tell me because I'm really struggling against her right now. I'm eating a lot of shit. She, seems, she uh, seems very powerful in this version of the game. This down two seems to be a good way of dealing with her if you're playing Negan, by the way, because when she's spinning around and trying to do knockdown lows, this will catch her and it's a massive counter hit move. Uh, I think it's my favorite uh, move with Negan right now and I'm abusing it online. It's a lot of fun, so uh, if you're a Negan player, uh, yeah, your mix-up is unfortunately not as powerful as we might have hoped it would be. I think this stance is honestly a little bit weaker. I think he needed a good low here. Uh, but you at least have uh, awesome counter-hit moves like this to uh, put a smile on your face anyway. Uh, like, all of these counter-hit moves are just so satisfying to connect with. It's crazy. But anyway, that's some quick tips for how to deal with intimidation stance when you're playing against Negan. Hope it was somewhat useful. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying online right now, even though it's very aggressive and a lot to learn. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye for now.